Hello Internet, just a quick unscripted update on the kayak motor that I'm working on. So to make this a little bit less ridiculous I ditched the idea of using an RC propeller and I got myself a real um, kind of trawling motor propeller and um, to get the RPMs down and the torque up I needed a gearbox, I'm using an um, RC crawler gearbox for that and um, this way I don't need to buy a new motor and obviously then the next step was to print um, a housing for the motor and gearbox assembly and um, yeah so I just modeled it in Fusion and printed it out on my Zero 10 and uh, also turned a brass shaft to mount the propeller to and that's basically it for the motor assembly. And then I cut a piece of aluminum to um, substitute the uh, rudder on the kayak. And this makes it rather easy to mount. And it also has the advantage that now I can operate the motor while sitting in the boat. So I can, you know, let it fall, let it drop into the water or uh, pull it out, as we can see in that little clip. And because I didn't really know if it's what going to work, um, I improvised the mounting of the ESC with some zip ties, uh, but it worked just fine. Um, and um, then I tested this, tested it and it worked pretty well on the 2S battery um, but when I tried it with the 4S battery uh, something broke in the uh, drivetrain so I took everything uh, back apart and um, what I found was that um, the grub screws that I used to hold the uh, propeller shaft they had kind of um, a plate shape from the uh, probably an artifact of the manufacturing process but that meant that it was rather unstable for this high torque application and it just sheared off uh, the uh, the uh, rim of the uh, of that of that plate and it broke so what I tried then is I filed off these plates um, on the grub screws and put everything back together and um, it worked just fine also with the 4S battery and um, here I tested the speed first with the 2S battery and then later with the 4S battery and it turns out that there is, um, I mean it works pretty pretty well for <laughs> such a janky DI setup I think but um, there is some um, electrical issue the um, batteries the 2S batteries are only half empty when the ESC says um, low voltage cutoff and um, yeah so there is some significant voltage drop over over the cables um, and I have to address this issue and also on the 4S um, battery it seems like the ESC is just underpowered it just um, I mean for um, for normal driving it is okay um, but for acceleration it just shuts off because it's too much too much power for that 90 amp ESC so I'm already pretty happy with how version 2.0 turned out. It's definitely a lot more usable than version 1 and a lot more efficient. But there are obviously, um, there's obviously room for improvement as always. So I have to address all the electrical issues and um, maybe even get a better gearbox, a bigger motor and so on and so forth. So that's about it for the commentary and now I'm gonna leave you 
with the clips of the first tests that I made. 